hands up in front and we're just going to the feet. Don't worry about having one fall. Try not to get around the ball too much. From back hip, bang. So loading here, legs, cores on. Two, one, and 30 seconds till we get into this passing drill. Uh, so this drill is just working our way up. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12. So we've set out cones, you don't need uh, kicking tees, you can just use shoes, drink bottles, uh, bits of wood lying around, whatever you need just to mark out those two meter spaces. We're going to work our way up. So Aaron Smith slash Georgia Corms is uh, going to be helping me today with this drill. So grab someone, family member, whoever you've been passing with and get through this sequence. First one we're going to do is a body training drill. So how it starts, 50 seconds, is hands up in front and we're just going to the side and that's going to be our perfect passing position. Back to the middle and over to the far side. So that's where we want to try, finish our pass, keep going G. So when G passes these balls to me, she's just reminding herself that that's the position we want to try to get into on the pass. Why is that? Quite often when we pass a ball, we get lazy with this shoulder and leave it low, which means balls can take off on us. We really need to turn over and finish strong, hands to target, square shoulders, square hands. So when we get into uh, slightly longer spiral passes, you'll remember that. Just for this last 10 seconds G, just start in the middle, so nice and close to the body, and then shoot out. Back to the middle, shoot out. And as you can see, that's looking more like a pass. Plus she knows where to finish because she's already trained her body. Two and one, cool. First pass, two meters. So this first one isn't gonna be a spiral pass, it's just gonna be a floater. Two and one, passing back. As you can see, me and G are a little bit staggered, so just like in a game, having to pass the ball back, rather than always being flat, but from the middle of our body, shooting through, as you can see, we're both getting that nice passing follow through, not leaving that shoulder under. So first one's two, two meters, no spiral. Ball floats. Nice. So just like a bag of golf clubs, you've got to work on all your different passing ranges. So for a start, we're just working on like a little sandwich. 13 seconds, starting from the middle of the body, finish strong, every pass, get that follow through in for me, strong core. Nice, so me and G are swapping over, purely just to, so you can still see the technique stuff, but you guys can just stay on your cones where you are. So left side pass. Passing through. Nice, middle of the body, through. So on all these passes, just square feet. Don't worry about having one forward, just nice square feet, square body, and we're pulling back. Shoot those hands to target. Nice G. Keep finishing beautiful every time. Keep it going. How long we got? Six seconds. Nice, so heaps of touches. Beautiful two meters. Now we're gonna extend out to four meters. So now I wanna get into the spiral. Just on all these, starting on that outside hip. Two, one, outside hip, and passing through. So this is where you'll really see that nice follow through. Don't have to get too aggressive on these passes for a start. Just nice technique. Getting our technique nice and tight. Passing G. So just with these, really try to get nice spirals on the ball, front thumb engaged. Really should be able to see a nice tight spiral every pass, especially for this little four meter. Nice G. Keep it going, seven more seconds. Good passing. Oh, a little bit high. Good, good 50. Left side. So again, just that outside hip. And we're on. It's a nice, simple technique. Try not to get around the ball too much from that back hip. Straight through to target. Strong follow through. Boom, that's where I want to finish. Nice ball. It's 
So sometimes you'll feel yourself getting lazy on the follow through, getting a little bit loose or crossing over. We want to remind ourselves of where we finished in that warm up drill. Through to target. Oh. Front thumb nice and active. Past you. Good, good 50. So we haven't really talked too much about our target, but we just want to around about that chest height between the chest and the face. Two, one, a little bit further. Just got to punch a little bit harder. So don't need too much more effort required for this pass. All you want to do is try to get from here to that finish point a little bit quicker. Bang. Heaps of bicep and pec engaged before you pass. Great passing G. Great ball, nice. Again, nice fat grip on the ball, don't get too end on. Remind yourself of that passing finish position. Bang. Good, pass, Jeep. Stay nice and tall. Good, two, one. Us. Lefty. Phew. Let's go. Tell me when. Back hip. Bang. But for some reason on my left side, my front thumb decides to have a holiday, so I've just got to remind it to really get nice and active. Punch through. Boom. Great ball, G. Bit of a core workout now. Punching through, just trying to get too sl slingy, nice, tight technique. Punching through, oh. Great past you. Ah, yuck. Good pass. Good, so on these slightly longer passes, instead of trying to like wind up more, just think about, right now I'm gonna have a really engaged bicep and pick. That's gonna be on before I've passed the ball. And we're away. Good. Again, should be able to get a nice beautiful spiral. But what we're not doing is loading up to try and get power. We're just thinking bicep on, pick on, punch. Nice follow through position G. Should be able to keep this ball nice and flat. We're at just over eight meters now, so nice flat hard pass. Bang. Big strong core on these. Try not to bend too much. Stay nice and tall. Punch through. Punch a bit harder, G. 10 seconds. Oh no, one second. <laughs> Good passing, Aaron Smith. Thanks for all the kit for G. Nuggy. We're on, left side pass, punch hard. That front thumb, let's go. Get that nice finished passing position. Punch through. Great pass, G, nice. Good, no rush on these, nice grip on the ball. Strong body, body's engaged, core's engaged. Legs are engaged. Bunch. Good. Good. Right, we're into the big 10 meter. So just on these, if that's your finished position, just try taking that up one inch. So just a little bit higher on your release. So should look like this. <laughs> that didn't get there, but just slightly higher. Don't need to try to loop it or anything. But all you do is just, if that's normal, just finish one inch higher. Bang. 
past you. Nice, keep finishing strong. So this is quite a big pass, so you probably get the odd one that gets away on you, but try to be really accurate, give me that nice tight spiral. Keep turning that shoulder over to you. Flat shoulders to finish, flat shoulders, flat hands. There you go. Woo! That was a ball, Georgia Corms. Nice. Right, left side. Oh, the old RB Wolf, eh? Two, one. Oh, yuck, Peter. That was a ball. Gay ball, G. Contagious. Nice. Finish with beautiful hands, strong shoulders. Same on left side, just finish slightly higher. You'll be able to get the distance just by punching. Don't have to get ugly with technique. Punch hard, G. Bang. Oh, yuck. Great ball. Nice. Pass. Nice. So if you're struggling to pass that distance, just take it in a little bit or just step your markers out differently. So one metre, two metre spaces. Doesn't matter, but we're onto a long one now. So same thing, just back your upper body strength and it'll get there. Just leave those hands high. Punch hard, G. So heaps of loading here, legs, cores on, pecs on, bicep. Bang. Finish strong. Great ball. Woo. Nice nuggy. <laughs> Punch hard. Really turn the shoulder over and finish over. Okay, past you. Feet set. Bang. Pass. Good. So all I'm doing is just from there, just raising those hands up a touch. Five seconds. Time. Passing G. So again, if that distance is feeling a little bit too far, just take it in a bit. But I don't, oh yuck, I don't want you getting ugly. Yeah, nice ball. From here, everything's loaded. Bang. Slightly too high. Punch, good technique. Nice, G. Hands set, feet set. Great pass, nice. Slightly more lift. It's all right. That was a ball. Ah, oh, yeah, gee. Good passing. Nice. So that's the uh, that's the parking passing sequence going up in two meter sequences. Again, if you need to change the distance, do that. But I'm big on forcing your skill set, especially with those long passes, is backing yourself to trust your technique that the ball will get there just by punching hard, using all the good passing muscles, rather than getting out of control, dipping and throwing wide passes. Nice, you. Hey guys, thanks for watching this Rugby Bricks video. Head to rugbybricks.com for more info on the passing and kicking development tools and also a full range of kicking tees made and designed in New Zealand.